What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys a quick video on how to replace the blade on your circular saw. Let's do this. Alright guys, so this might come across as a pretty simple task and it 100% is a very easy task to do. However, a lot of people out there don't know how to do it and this video is for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is remove the battery. Last thing you want is to lose your fingers when trying to replace the blade. Um, if this is a corded version, just simply unplug it. We've got here the original blade that came with my Milwaukee circular saw. It did a very good job, um, however now it's not cutting as clean as it used to and we need to replace the blade. So I'm going to switch it over here with a Diablo blade. Very good quality blade, always does the task, lasts a very long time. What we're going to do is basically remove this little locking nut here. So if we have a look on the front, you can see right there there's a locking nut. Now with these, sometimes you might find that there's a tool built into the actual um, uh, circular saw itself in order to remove this. So Milwaukee unfortunately hasn't got one included where it's actually built into the tool itself but in this case here we can use both an allen key or an adjustable wrench so I'm going to use the adjustable wrench it is definitely a lot easier simple adjustable wrench what you need to look for first and foremost is a little locking button so we've got here a little button up on the top and that'll lock the actual disc from rotating so what we're going to do Usually you'd have lefty loosey righty tidy concept in order to remove vast majority of things However, when it comes to gas angle grinders circular saws anything that rotates in the opposite direction You need to actually remove it in the opposite direction So what we're going to do here is instead of going left in order to loosen it We're going to turn to the right um, and the upside is it's also got a little arrow here on the locking nut in case you guys forget So we need to hold on to that press uh, the button press that down nice and firm and then as you've got your finger on it, you'll notice that it will actually lock in place and you won't be able to rotate that blade anymore. Then I'll take my adjustable wrench, loosen that one there off. Once it's loose, you can then let go of the button and we can take this one here off by hand. So we're just going to undo this bolt, put that on the side. Behind that is a washer or a locking, a locking nut. Make sure you remove that as well. Then we can put this on its side, pull the guard back, Lift up the blade and simply slide out guys. It's that simple. We'll now open up the new one Alright guys, so I'm going to open up the new Diablo blade using my Milwaukee fastback utility knife I don't like promoting things unless I honestly believe in them. This one here is by far one of my favorite blades You know what? It's actually my favorite utility knife out there. Haven't come across anything like this yet I've done a review on it. If you guys haven't got one, you're honestly missing out. One-handed operation Nice and easy opens up closes my favorite tool yet. So we're going to open up this one here. So we'll take our new Diablo blade. The only thing you need to be careful of is the direction of the teeth or the direction that it's supposed to be turning in. The easiest way I like to think about it is when the um, circular saw is actually working, it's spinning upward. So it's cutting up through the timber from the bottom up to the top. So what we need to do is make sure that the teeth are also in that direction, cutting from the bottom, coming up to the top. So what we need to do is install it in this direction here. Hopefully that made sense, it did in my head. So when you install the blade, you need to make sure that it actually fits in nice and snug and there's no play whatsoever. You can see in this case here, we've got a little bit of play. And the reason for that is the arbor size is actually different on this blade than on the Milwaukee. So if we have a look at the old blade here and compare the two, we can see here that the arbor size is actually different. So I'll line these two here up and you can see a little bit of the silver from underneath from the old blade. It's actually smaller than the Diablo blade. So what you need to do in this case here is they also come with a few rings in the kit also in the blade. You also come with a few bushes, reduction rings, uh, flanges, whatever you like to call them. They're basically two little rings that you slide in the actual blade in order to reduce the size. So what we do is we simply slot that in over the top and that'll reduce the size perfectly like that. You also need to make sure, in this case here, we've got a little recessed area um, in the little bolt or the, um, the little section underneath that sits under the blade. Um, there's a little recessed area here. So in this case here, we also need to use the second ring to ensure that it doesn't actually drop into that recessed area. So we'll take that second ring, put that one there over the top, and then we can install our new blade. So once again, retract it back, slide that one there in, wants to pop back off so you can see there we've got the bottom one underneath in order to support the top ring slide it over the top line this one here up and once that's in that'll completely cover that section now we can put on our locking nut 
So we'll take the locking nut, slot that one there over the top, take our bolt, put that one there on finger tight, and remembering it's going in the opposite direction, so we need to turn this one here over to the left. So once you've got the bolt on finger tight, we can then press the locking button once again to lock that blade into place. Press it down nice and tight, make sure it's locked in. Take the adjustable wrench and then we can just tighten it off completely. Once that's done, we can put in our battery. Test it out. Perfect. So there you have it guys, that's how to install a new blade, how to remove it, replace it with a new one, nice and easy. Usually you can replace the blade straight over without having to put in any of those bushes or the reduction rings. Um, but in this case here, you guys got to see a full example of the worst case scenario. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video guys. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out 2.